Uh, hello, this is Gary Fox, and uh, I've got a new CAD video that I'm doing here. Uh, I got curious about a bunch of stuff and decided to test it. I'm going to show you uh, the results of the test, and uh, we'll talk about what I was asking. So, we'll open up this very first CAD here. And what I was asking on this is line width. If I do a plot that's at uh, half scale, in other words, when you do the plot command, if it says 1 to 2 or 1 to 1, and I've got my uh, line width set, do the lines get smaller with with the uh, plot that where it's been shrunk down, or do the line width stay the same? And the same question about the line type, does the spacing change on it? So... I drew a copy of, I uh, did all the line widths, and I did all, several of the line types on this thing. And this particular plot is going to be plotted at 1 to 1. So let me show you, well, let's do that at the 2 to 2, or 2 to 1. 1 to 2, I'll get it right. Okay, so anyhow, this is the, uh, the first test that I did. Then what I did after that was I created another drawing. Now this border is twice the size of what the uh, previous border was. And it's basically the same lines that's in there on both tests. And I'll show you what happens when you do a plot. We'll do a plot uh, print preview. And what I'm doing, the way I set it up, those tick marks are exactly eight and a half by eleven, so it's eleven inches across and eight and a half down. And we're using the U.S. standard size paper, which nobody else in the world does. Uh, and so I make this one to two, and I make it uh, all black. And so I end up with a plot like that when I send it to the printer, uh, which I'm not going to do because it'll make a bunch of noise in the background. Uh, I get the, the print back. Well, the spacing between these lines, because it's drawn different, uh, is different, but the line widths are exactly the same. So the line width stays the same. It's basically paper. In AutoCAD, they would call that paper space, but it's the uh, space of the, the width of it as it's printed, not the width of it as it shows up on the screen. Same thing with these right in here. They look exactly the same whether I'm printing at 1 to 2 or if I'm printing 1 to 1. They look exactly, the drawing looks exactly the same, the, uh, the spacing between these dots. Also, while I was at it, I went ahead and tried it. Remember that we had way back there in a previous tutorial, we talked about draft mode. And draft mode, the lines look really funny, and none of the line widths show up here. But when you plot it, um, let's go back and turn off this one. When you plot that drawing, uh, the line widths are going to show up. So it doesn't make a difference whether you're in draft mode or uh, non-draft mode. It makes a difference on the screen, but it doesn't make a difference on the plot is what I'm trying to say here okay after that I said well heck I got a few more questions and uh, so I'll show you those questions and then I'll show you one other little gotcha that uh, that get you with these things so let's see let's shrink this one and now we'll go to test 2 and this is on the uh, plot 1 to 1 scale and I plotted I did some hatches. Now all my hatches on all of these, I did them with a uh, line width of 0.13 millimeters, which is one of those ISO uh, line widths, and I can show you that over here. So if I go to level zero, and 
and this saying is a width of zero millimeters so I screwed up but I still got my answer that I was interested in and then down here I got a couple where I decided to check and see what dash would do and so I create a new layer and I called doofus and there's a reason I call it that because I'm gonna get rid of it eventually and I did a line type of dash okay I printed that on a with a scale of one to one I also create another drawing we'll shrink this one and I did the same thing with a scale of one to two and uh, with one to two uh, as it scales up it does change the spacing on this hatch and uh, that's that's just is the way it is so hatch spacing changes line width line type spacing doesn't change and line width doesn't change as you put change your plot scale um, okay the last thing I did I got curious about remember that we had a problem it really wasn't a problem and let's zoom in on this just a little bit uh, I did a whole bunch of these where I did all of them are type line type of dash but I changed the width of my uh, line and as I did as you can see the dash changed if I do that with a uh, draft mode they all look the same but if you do it with uh, this or if you plot it it's going to uh, it's going to change the spacing between the dashes uh, and that just is also just is the way it is it's the rules that the way the software is written and it's what you have to work with okay uh, that's pretty much all of the tests I did however I fell into one by accident and so we will show you that here make sure I'm not into plot mode let's go ahead and go back to full size uh, if you change an entity okay let me show you what I did on these lines right here if I go to okay my level zero on all of these is 13 millimeters 0.13 millimeters but uh, and all of my line type is continuous but what I did to make all of these dash is that I changed for each particular one you see I changed the layer the width of it and then I made the line type dash even though I'm still on layer zero okay that will give you an ah crap and let's see if I can zoom in on something here to make a to make an example okay I'm going to copy a line let's say and so I do a copy I'm gonna copy this one right here and uh, we'll move it from there to over here okay and it says keep original yeah I do want to do that it says use current attributes okay and I do control K and I get a solid line and that's because the attributes are back at now let's just see if we can click on it and see what they are colors by layer width by layer line types by layer uh, it goes back to the default for the particular layer right there and uh, let's yeah and the layers at 0.13 and with continuous line so copy will get you if you're copying a line where you've modified the individual attributes for that line and again that's just one way that it is and I don't know any way that the programmers could have worked around that uh, there gets to be a point when you're writing a program where you can't read the uh, the user's mind but that's something for you to be aware of uh, know that when you copy a line that it will not change it let's try something else let's open up a new drawing now 
I did the wrong thing. I want to create a new drawing. And I'm not going to really worry about scale. Let's, it's called unnamed. We'll restore it down. It's over here. Let's go to this last one that we looked at here. And I am going to do a copy, control C. Which, let me show you where that is up here. If you do um, edit, copy, that's the same thing as what I'm getting ready to do. And it says select a copy. And so we'll do this 0.70 one. Okay. Continue action. It says reference point. We'll do right at the end of it. Okay, it's now on my uh, note. Now I forget what the term is. Um, it's now ready to be pasted. So I go now to my new drawing. And I do a paste, which is edit, paste. And I always just do the control V. But, and it does actually do it at the width when it copies and pastes it from the uh, clipboard. That's the term I wanted to remember. So you can get by copying and pasting and doing that way. But if you do the copy command up here uh, out of the sub sub menu of modify menu, uh, it reverts back to the original layer. Um, and we'll just do one more with that. Really confuse you. So we don't care about saving this drawing. Okay. Let's do a, a copy with this. Yeah, we'll pick the 0 .50. But meanwhile, I'm going to be in ticks. Okay, if I do... A, we'll do two lines here. No, we can, we'll only do one. Okay, I do a copy. And I paste it right here. Oops, I did it backwards. Okay, select reference point. I'm going to shrink down a little bit. Make my reference point there and I copy it. This time I'll choose use current attributes and then it go back to the uh, continuous line okay let's try something if I'm in ticks which is also 0 .00, 0 and it's magenta I'll do a copy now I'm only copying the line not the text and it says, I uh, say use current layer. And uh, let's see what we get. And I get the magenta line, but I get no dashes. And I'm sure if I do the other one, because I didn't realize until just now. show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, and I put it there. And I only use current layer. It's going to give me the same deal. Now, look at that. It changed it. Now, that's interesting. So you see learning going on right now. And so it's basically play with the stuff. So if you use current layer, it did change the color, but it did keep the attributes that uh, I moved over here. So surprise, surprise. <laughs> so we all learn something from this. Of course, I've been learning for the last week playing with this thing. Anyhow, uh, that's probably all about as clear as mud. Basically, play with it. I will copy these, uh, these four pages here so you can actually load them up and print them out yourself and see what all is going on. Uh, go into the, go to modify and then entity ge geometry 
and if you click on one you'll see what its colors by layer its width and line type that tell you what I had intended when I did the thing originally and from that you should be able to uh, follow me uh, although sometimes I can't follow me and uh, it's worth playing with and it's worth wasting a little bit of printer ink giving it a few tests there's only four drawings there appreciate you listening this is Gary Fox of Great Man.